So when you're taking a 015 chainsaw from steel and turning it from a quarter inch pitch to a 3 8 inch pitch because the quarter inch pitch uh, chains are getting pretty expensive. Not a lot of chainsaws use them anymore um, for just regular homeowner use. All the new steel chainsaws use 3 8 inch so it's easier to find, cheaper to find. Um, but one of the issues when you're converting it is the um, oil pump, the gear that runs it, gets powered by the uh, clutch. So when you engage a chainsaw, the clutch spins, the oil uh, sprocket spins, and it chain and it runs the motor or runs the pump that gets the oil onto the bar. Um, one of the one of the pieces that is uh, originally from it is this sprocket. Um, so this sits on here. It runs the um, it runs the gear like that, and then the sprocket comes down, sits on top of it, engages like this, and goes like that. And the actual chain from the chainsaw goes on there. When you move up to three eighths inch, though, the 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 pattern on this changes. So the pattern on the back of here changes too, which means you can't use you can't use this piece anymore which is unfortunate because steel doesn't make the upgrade, the, the different version of this for the 3 8 inch pitch. Um, so there's people online that have old versions, or not old versions, uh, old stock that you can buy. They're pretty, they're pretty expensive. Um, there's a guy on eBay that sells a CNC version of this um, that he makes on his own based on plans that he found. So you know it's not steel but you know it's pretty much just as good but he sells them for like 40 bucks each and me being a little cheap person had to find a better way to do it so after a couple minutes of searching around online i found a um a 3d printable version of this gear that works with the new sprocket so the new one is this shape and the old one where did i set it is this shape so you can see how we went from a star to more of a blockier look so that means the old sprocket won't fit on it anymore um so i grabbed the plans online and printed one of these out it actually only took about an hour did 60 percent infill about 20 millimeters a second so when you compare them to the the official version uh you know it's a little different different color this is made out of nylon uh the one that i printed made is made out of abs i don't have any nylon on me um, i might try printing it out in the future if this piece doesn't hold up but you can see on the back, the sprocket sizes are different. Um, but since this piece only runs the oiler, and if the oiler is working correctly, uh, there shouldn't be much force on it. Using a 3D printed part should be all right. Um, assuming uh, it doesn't get too hot, ABS uh, melts um, at a lower temperature than nylon, but you know we'll give it a shot for being 15 cents instead of $40. So you take the um, old, gear off the uh, oil gear off you put the new one on i did have to ream this out a little bit when i uh, got it on there the printer wasn't exact it fits right on there runs it just the same take so to get everything put back together start by putting the um the oil gear in place place the cover back on top i always forget to put this on here and i put the uh I put the gear and the sprocket on before I put this cap on and I get all the way back together before I realize I'm missing this piece. So I have to go and undo it. So while I'm waiting for the springs to arrive, I'll just have to be careful. They're coming from Greece because the seller on eBay was only charging four bucks shipped for, uh, for all three springs. Every place in the U.S. was charging uh, around 20 or 30 bucks. So, you know, I can wait. And I just need to be careful when I'm using it outside. Pretty much whenever I'm not using it, I'll just turn it off instead of letting it uh, idle. Because when it's idling, the chain will be moving. So now you have the cover back on. Take your new 3D printed part and put that in place. Should be uh, flush with the lip on there, and that means it's engaged on the um, oiler gear. Take your sprocket, 
make sure you're using the uh, the new one and not the uh, old one. Um, got some gunk on these gears. Put those in. And then set it down inside of the printed part. Make sure it's sitting flush in there. That it looks like this. There we go. Um, after you got that in place, throw the little clutch shoe holder on. Remember that everything's, or no, we need this part first. A little washer that keeps the keeps the uh, clutch shoe from touching the bottom of it because it's only supposed to engage on the sides. And then remember that everything's backwards on this, so you spin it, spin it to the left to get it to tighten up. Take your shoes. The uh, springs on these are worn out, the clutch engages, even though, uh, even though the engine will idle, the, the springs aren't strong enough to hold it back, so it still runs anyway. And then even this part is backwards, so. And it just needs to be pretty snug, I believe, after uh, after um, it starts running, it'll tighten the nut anyway because it's going to be spinning in the opposite direction. So take your new bar. You can't use the um, you can't use the uh, the quarter inch bar because the uh, sprockets on it are a different size and won't be able to fit around it. So take that one. You know, save it for later in case you want to go back. Put your new bar on. Grab your new chain. Just the comparison between the new chain and the old chain. So here is the here is the old chain. You can see the spacing on there, and then here is the new chain that is much larger. There's further space between each of the. Um, what are they called? Rivets, um, and the uh, gate and the actual cutting mechanism is larger. Stick that one to the other side also. Make sure the chain is in the right direction. First time I took this off here, I didn't didn't know there was a certain direction it had to go, and I went out to cut some branches off of a dead tree in my yard and it wouldn't cut and I couldn't figure out why. Let's make sure it's right in the groove the whole way. Just got back there. Get it nice and taut. Make sure the uh, little oiler mover that keeps the oiler lined up with the um, the oiler lined up with the holes on the chainsaw on the bar to make sure that the oil is getting to the chain. Make sure that's lined up. And then cover on the on the 015 model it doesn't have a, a a hand adjustable positioning you have to take a uh, actual nut to get it to come off tighten that down and then you are uh, you're finished you got a new steel 015 running a 3 8 inch chain instead of the quarter inch one that it comes with. Your chains will be significantly cheaper to find and uh, yeah that's all there is to it. It's pretty simple. So if anyone needs a 3D printed part to replace this one because they don't feel like paying 40 bucks for it or looking for a Junker um, 015 that's already been converted to 3 8 you know, let me know. I can uh, probably print one out for you.